Yeah, Dewan Amber. First things first at this hour, as you can probably see, both these scenes uh, have cleared. The last RPD cruisers just left a short while ago, and traffic has reopened on both sides of Western Boulevard after this entire stretch of Western was shut down for hours earlier today. But here's what we know so far. Raleigh police are saying one man and one woman were injured in this incident, but the woman has already been treated and released. When we got here, you could see those evidence markers you just mentioned scattered across the Dunkin Donuts parking lot and at least two shell casings that still remained on the ground. Across the street from here at the Bojangles, there was a focus on a black Honda hatchback, which is uh, was just towed away about 15 minutes ago, one of the entrance ramps to the restaurant. It's not yet clear if that vehicle belonged to either of the victims or the alleged shooter. Today's shooting also led to that NC State wolf alert given the proximity to campus. And we spoke with a PhD student who actually heard the shots from his room. It's happening in, in an area like the NC State is literally like you can see the buildings of NC State and you know it's happening here. So this is really, really, really scary. An employee at the McDonald's that's next to the Bojangles across the street tells me he was outside cleaning up when the shooting began and heard about five gunshots total. Police say both the victims were driven away in a private car to the Wake Med Urgent Care located on Oberlin Road, but that the man was later taken to the hospital in an ambulance. Police say both victims are expected to survive, which is obviously good news. As far as the circumstances surrounding this shooting, that's still a focus of the RPD investigation. We'll obviously update you as we learn more. We'll have more coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 and 6. For now, live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.